Hi everyone, I hope you are keeping well. Um, so I wanted to do another kind of beauty chat slash review video, uh, this time about hair care. So I wanted to talk to you about natural hair care. I have been using a brand called Naughty Hair Care, which is a 97% natural hair care brand. And um, I've stopped using the Tresemme's, the Pantene's, um, and basically silicon-based shampoo and conditioners and swapped it for natural hair care. Just an FYI, I have bought all these products from Naughty and this is my personal opinion and review on the products and this is my own kind of natural hair care journey that I want to share with you so I just wanted to say that so you know that you know this isn't no kind of like marketing thing this is just me trying to help you girls out if you are interested in natural hair care so usually when you transition to natural hair care these are products that don't have silicon parabens and sulfates. This is what I kind of love about Naughty because they're very, very transparent about what ingredients are in their product. I just want to actually explain what these three products do in mass hair care and the difference that it makes for your hair over time by cutting these ingredients out of your regime. Silicons almost coat your hair. That's the ingredient that makes the hair less prone to becoming frizzy. Um, it also helps with just making the hair overall smooth and it traps in moisture, which is great in the beginning because that's what you want. But over time, constant use of silicones on your hair is it's going to keep coating and coating that hair shaft and then no more moisture is going to be able to get to that hair and on top of that all the treatments that you're doing are not going to work as effectively as we continue to use silicones it basically weighs the hair down and the more the hair's weighed down you don't get that kind of voluminous look that you're looking for that you could probably get from your natural hair so what natural hair care does, it uses an alternative. It basically uses natural plant oils. And we're talking almond oils, coconut oils, argan oil, of course. That's an absolute favourite of mine. Naughty also doesn't include parabens in their hair care. Now, parabens are actually an ingredient that are used in deodorants, toothpaste, for example, to basically kill bacteria, which is great. We need that. But although parabens are great for that, they also are quite aggressive. They can cause skin irritants, especially if you have sensitive skin. I have um, eczema. Um, I actually, when I'm stressed, I get eczema right at the back of my neck. And sometimes when I'm using treatments, even natural hair oil, sometimes it can feel quite uncomfortable and um, it can aggravate it quite a lot. So that was another reason for me to switching to natural hair care and staying away from um, kind of like par parabens as an example for that. One more ingredient that I wanted to talk about that Naughty Hair Care does not include is sulfates. Sulfate is an ingredient that is used a lot in mass hair care and it's basically used to help the product foam. It gives that lather. So when you use that shampoo and you feel that kind of foaming action going on and you know what, some people love it, which is, yeah, great. Even I love it sometimes. And I think when I transitioned to natural hair care, I found that weird because you don't necessarily get that lather straight away. You have to learn how to work with natural products and that came with time. But it's great to learn about these ingredients that are in mass hair care because this is something that I don't think is spoken about a lot. They're the three main ingredients that I wanted to share with you that I learned about that really made me think about what I was putting on my hair and kind of gave me that push to transition to natural hair care. So starting with the products that I used, I have mentioned Naughty Hair Care. That's what I've been using for my natural hair care journey. And Naughty is cruelty free, vegan, vegetarian, and I've already mentioned 97% natural. That other 3%, if you're thinking, oh, why 97%, why not 100% natural? Well, that other 3% is basically just so, I'd like to say in a nutshell, gives the product shelf life. Obviously, we need products that we can use constantly, consistently, safely, and that's basically what that 3% is for. My hair is a hot mess. <laughs> Um, it's not quite curly, not quite straight, just kind of unruly waves, I'd call it. This is, this is my natural hair right now. 
you can actually see that it, it looks quite voluminous. It was not like this when I um with when I was using like mass hair care. It was very flat. That's one thing I noticed from transition transitioning to natural hair care was how much oomph I started to get. My hair has grown so much longer so quickly. And I just found that overall the damage that I used to have on my ends, I don't have that anymore. The dryness. I still get dry ends because I used to be blonde so I had my hair bleached once you've bleached your hair I mean the amount of damage it causes it's really difficult to go back to how your hair was before that I don't regret it I love my blonde hair but I definitely I can definitely feel the difference after going blonde um but using natural hair care has just made my ends a lot more softer um I don't need to use like oils on while I style as much as I used to, which I've also noticed. So that's kind of why I'm continuing with natural hair care. But it was, it was something I had to really stick to. When I first started using natural hair care, honestly, I gave up with it the first week. I made a massive mistake of using natural hair care one Saturday that I was about to go out. I thought, yeah, let me just try these new hair care products. You know, it's just like switching from Pantene to Tresemme, right? No, it was not. My hair was feeling matte. It was feeling really greasy at the top. Um, it just didn't feel clean. It was really knotty. And overall, I just had a bad experience to begin with until I did my research. So those ingredients that I spoke about earlier on sulfates silicons parabens like i said they all coat your hair now over time i've been using mass hair care products for so long all those years of build up that i had on my hair when i then went to use natural hair care without maybe doing my research like i should have i got the bad experience but because i didn't have the knowledge i would have just given up with it then and there being the kind of beauty geek that I am I kind of did my research I wanted to stick to it and I just thought okay you know what no maybe I need to know how these products work for my hair what do I need to do to help these products too I found out that with build up of mass hair care products and ingredients like that you need oh, <laughs> you need to have a minimum of eight washes for your hair to transition to using natural hair care. And that's what that first experience of mine was. The matte, the stickiness, not stickiness, but just the, the unclean feeling that I originally got. That was like step one of my eight day um, transition to natural hair care. When you do go to natural hair care, please, please stick to it. That is completely normal. Just imagine you are taking all of those silicones out of your hair, everything that's coating it, you're removing it from the hair shaft until you get your true natural hair, basically. That was kind of my first experience. I then did stick to it. So just remember guys, eight days. As the eight days went on, I'd probably say by the fourth day, my hair was no longer getting greasy. It felt clean finally. Ends were feeling super, super soft. So it's really important that when you do go to natural hair care, you don't just pick any old shampoo and conditioner. Pick the one that is right for your scalp and for your hair type. That kind of goes for majority of hair care brands, but in particular for natural hair care brands. What's great is you can actually do a hair quiz um, on Naughty Hair Care, which is um, called Discover Your Roots. And you can find out which products you need to start with. For example, I actually learned from doing the quiz that I should have used pumped up shampoo because that's oil free. I have very, very oily roots. And when I started my hair care journey, that's not what I did. I went straight for the to the rescue regime, which was all about moisture and hydration. But this is what I mean, like I didn't do the research to begin with. And that's why I think it's so important when you are moving to natural hair care that you find the products for you. Definitely um, go onto the website and try their quiz. There are a range of naughty hair care products that I've been using now. And I switch them up quite a lot, depending on if I'm in the city a lot, depending if I'm working out. Um, when I go away, I change my hair care regime too. And I up the treatments. So it does change a lot. But there are some products that I've been using. First of all, Detox Dynamo. I love this product. And 
I'm not gonna feel bad for saying it, but I kind of feel like I love this product because it's the closest feeling I have to when I used to use mass hair care products. I feel, I don't know why I feel guilty saying that, but as you know, natural hair care doesn't have that foam and sometimes you don't get that squeaky, squeaky clean feeling that mass hair care does give you. But Detox Dynamo does that. This is a clarifying shampoo. They say to use this if you go to the gym a lot, if you perhaps um, work in the city, maybe where there's a lot of pollution. Detox Dynamo is great for things like that. I tend to sometimes use this, not so much now because we're in lockdown, but I go to the gym about like three, four times a week. So I use this, I'd probably say, yeah, once a week just to kind of get that grime and build up and sweat <laughs> out of your hair. Um, so this is definitely a really, really good one to start with. Moving on to treatments. These two products I have not changed throughout my hair care regime. This one I use not so much, um, but I tend to use it when I feel like my ends are particularly dry. It's a leave-in conditioner. So when your hair's wet, I literally put a tiny amount of this on my ends, dry my hair naturally or with a hairdryer, and that's it, leave it be. Um, no stickiness, no residue, and it doesn't kind of feel heavy on my hair either. So this is one that I love using now and then. If I want to give my hair some real TLC, then I will use the mask. This is the To The Rescue Intense Moisture Treatment, and it's a mask that I basically use in the shower. So if I need to exfoliate my whole body, and I know I'm gonna be in the shower for a while, then what I do is I put this mask on and I basically leave it on my hair for a good like 10 to 15 minutes while I do everything else I need to do, and then I wash it off. So great intense moisture treatment my ride or die hair treatments seriously i absolutely love these i think even if i went back to which i'm not but if i was to use mass hair care products i mean sometimes when i'm traveling or if i'm like staying over a friend's house they're not always going to have the products you need you might forget something two hair care products that i will not be taking out of my regime anytime soon it's hello curls and first aid First aid is actually a conditioning and detangling spray. So I use this when my hair is damp, so towel dried. I just use this on the ends. And because I used to have blonde hair and it was bleached, something else I found is that even though like where you can, so you can actually see some of the lighter strands here, that's where my hair's kind of grown out now, but that's where the bleach used to be. They're the parts that still get tangled because they're just dry and they're just not healthy. So I use Thirst Aid to basically detangle that. Honestly, you may have actually seen it on a previous um, look that I did. I spray this on my hair when it's damp. I put the brush through and it literally glides through my hair. Like it feels so soft. And I just, I like the fact knowing that I'm putting treatment on my hair that isn't going to cause any buildup. That, that's a really big thing for me. And it's something that I've taken from using natural hair care. And finally, Hello Curls. This is actually what I've got on my hair right now. I have just towel, towel blah, blah. I have just towel dried my hair and then let it air dry because I don't wanna, I try and use as much, um, well, I try and use as less heat as possible on my hair. And when my hair's towel dried and wet, I will literally spray Hello Curls all over it. And that's kind of what helps to just lock in your curl or your wave, whatever your hair naturally forms to. Amazing about this, and I take this product with me when I travel, even though your hair has already been styled with it when you first washed your hair, you can use it as a second day styler. So right now, for example, my hair is dry. I'm literally gonna take some and just spray it onto my hair. And just scrunch so this is second day hair I actually washed my hair yesterday straight away you can see that curl like it's just it's just lifted it it's just given it um so much more definition let's do this side so it doesn't feel left out now I don't get um a great curl or wave on this side of my hair but again you can see the definition that it's given and that's just from spraying this. So this is one of my all time favorites. So that's my um, beauty chat video. 
on natural hair care i do hope it helped um i do hope it helped i do hope it helped um i don't know if it was as informative as you wanted it to be but please dm me message me comment below if you've got any questions on transitioning to natural hair care i didn't talk too much about um how each day was for me when i was going through that eight days of transition but i just wanted to kind of put the point across of just please stick to it. It's difficult to begin with, but by the end of it, your hair will feel so much more healthier and you're just going to feel good knowing that over time with constant use of natural hair care, um, you'll have healthy looking hair. I also just wanted to talk about those ingredients that I did at the start of the video because I don't think a lot of us actually understand sometimes what we are putting on our hair and I work in marketing. I know how these brands sometimes portray their products as healthy when really they're not. And it's just so easy for a brand to just kind of shove on, you know, organic onto their labels. And someone thinks that, oh, you know, natural hair care, it doesn't work like that. So I, yeah, I wanted to talk about those sort of things with you guys too. But please let me know if you have any questions. And hopefully I'll do another hair care video soon. Hope you enjoyed it for now. Take care. Mwah.